So today on Zero Calvin, I'm going to show you how to generate line drawings like this one from Reillusion characters. So uh, you're going to have to do this in iClone. It doesn't work as far as I know in Character Creator because you're going to need the Tune shader uh, to do it. So dress up your character in Character Creator. Use the Send to iClone button. Now it's an iClone. You can uh, then, of course, pose it however you want. Let's do the relaxed walk. We'll do uh, edit motion layer, move his arms out a bit, his hands out a little bit since he's a little bit uh, beefier than the standard model. Okay, so now we got him in our sexy pose here. And we want to turn him into a line drawing. So the first thing you want to do is go to the visual settings. If you don't have this tab, go to Windows and Visual Settings, and then you can dock that wherever you want. In the visual settings, normally this is where you would, you know, set up things like the, your, your HDR and uh, such such like. Um, but there's these other groovy little tabs, sub tabs up here. So the one we first want to start with is this post effects tab. So just click on color adjust and it'll give you options. What we want to do is jack brightness all the way up, contrast all the way down, and grayscale all the way up. Okay, so 20, 10, 20, just all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. It's going to look like that. Now we come over here to the tune shader sub tab turns the tune shader on for edge width you probably want two but you can set it to whatever you want for intensity um, you probably want a hundred of course all these settings you can play with to uh, your own satisfaction and this is like 99 percent of the way there already as you can see now there are some things, if you want this, uh, this look where you have the, um, the shadow look, the shadow shaded, then you can leave that as is. Um, and you can select which of your directional lights in your scene to use. So these are like the default directional lights and these are the same as the whatever lights you have in your scene, but only the directional ones, you know, not uh, not like spotlights and such. Um, but for my example, I chose none, so it's a more of a flatter shaded style um, with no, uh, no harsh shadows. But you notice it's kind of dark looking. So to fix that, you're going to select your, you know, select the main uh, model. Click on Modify, go to Materials. You're going to select, hold down Control, select Head, Body, Arm, and Leg, so you have all the skin textures. Right click on the base color, select Adjust Color, and then you can adjust the brightness to whatever you want. So I found something along the lines of 40, between 30 and 40 usually works pretty good. But it all depends on the amount of shading you want. You can pretty much just make him albino, or you can just add a little bit of shading. So maybe a little bit of shading gives him some definition. So maybe something like that. Okay. And that's it. And of course, you got to do the same thing for the other objects in the scene. So for his hat, just double click on that. We're going to select, use the control to make sure all the materials in the hat are selected. Just color, and then usually for other props and clothing, usually just jack it up to 100%. But it's totally up to you, whatever look you're looking, whatever you're, you're trying to do. Just color, 100%. So 
So now with the boots, you'll notice I, I'll jack it up to 100 and it still looks kind of grayish. It's still not as maybe as bright as we'd want, right? Even though we have it set to 100%. If that happens to you where you can't get it bright enough, there are a couple other other things you can you can do. Check the diffuse color here. Notice this isn't all the way a pure white. So you can just select a pure white and that'll make it just a little bit brighter. If it still needs to be brightened up more, you can actually use self-illumination and just start turning that up until you get it as bright as you want it to be. Okay? And that, kids, is that. It's really that simple. Now the really weird thing is it's just a drawing, right? But you can hit play and you can have him move, which is kind of creepy, eh? Anyway, uh, so when you're done with that, you're going to render it out. So you just do render image. So image, whatever format you want. PNG is probably the best. Current frame, unless you want to do an animation. That's totally fine with you. Um, you know, select your normal output sizes. You want to do a final render. You want super sampling on all the way high, and what that'll do is get rid of a lot of these jaggy edges, you know. And click on export. And just call him dude. And there he is. And that's all there is to it. So uh, hopefully this helps, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. This video brought to you by BrianKramerBooks.com. BrianKramerBooks.com for all your humorous science fiction needs.